the session is about to start. Please stay down. Please take seat and stay down, please. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kazan, the host of this session. And we have we have Slido and we have Slido on the website, so you can click on the conference website and prepare for your Q uh, question. And let me introduce this session. Welcome to PyCon Taiwan 2023. Do develop Py Python program with packages. Which package management tool is your favorite? Today, the speaker is going to talk about the various management tools in 2023, and he will tell you which is the best for you. So let's give a big hand to the first session, comparison of packaging tools in 2023 from Yoichi, Yoichi Takai, Asan, Peacock. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I'm Peacock. Uh, thank you, Kazan, for introducing me. Yeah, so it's big horrors today. Yeah, so I'm still nervous. <laughs> but I will do. Yeah, let's start. Okay. Yeah, slide, my slides are uploaded uh, this. Yeah. And free, feel free to take pictures and tweet or uh, take chat uh, to Discord. Okay. Yeah. First of all, I, I will introduce the motivation and target audiences. Yeah. Yeah. My motivation of this talk is here. Uh, there are so many packaging tools in Python. Yeah. Yeah, these are some differences, uh, some uh, differences of design uh, objectives. Yeah, so so it's uh, very hard to choose a uh, difficult uh, uh, best one for your project. Yeah, over the few years, uh, and the these have changed uh, dramatically. Yeah, since since of the these three pips. Uh, PEP uh, 5 and uh, 17, uh, 621, uh, 660. Yeah, yeah. First one is the uh, build system uh, specification format. Yeah, second, uh, 621 is the standard uh, Pi project term format. Yeah. Bottom run, uh, air. and last uh, third one, uh, 660 is a uh, editable install support for the PyProject Tomer. Yeah, so they changed uh, the situation dramatically. Yeah, so I feel uh, it needed uh, pros cons conversion uh, in R. So. I often use, uh, I am asked the question, uh, which, should, uh, which packaging tool should I use? So I will answer to that in the, this session. So, but the, please note that uh, all, all opinions are my own, so I'm not a developer of the, these tools. Okay, so I will compare these tools for three types of Python stars. Yeah, first one is uh, library or framework developer. Uh, second, uh, application yeah, developer. Uh, last is uh, scripting or automation. Uh, uh, yeah, including automation script developer. Yeah. Okay. This is the agenda. Yeah. I tell you uh, the pros and cons uh, for each tool, and finally, uh, I will introduce the best tools. Yeah, these three three types for three types. Yeah, sure. Uh, I I will introduce to the right. Yeah, 
maybe uh, you're interested, yeah, recently. So please check it. Okay. Yeah, these are tools uh, I will compare today. Yeah, the, there are six tools. Yeah, PPM, Poetry, PDM, PIP tools, and Hatch, and last is PIP. Yeah. Yeah. Here, uh, here my my self introduction, and my name is Yoichi Takai, but the, my nickname is Peacock, so please mo call me Peacock. Yeah, so I'm uh, 23 years old, and I, I, uh, and five years of Python experiences. Yeah, uh, and since uh, December 2022, uh, yeah, last year, uh, uh, I work in TopGate uh, for the IAC or DevOps engineer, yeah, and the uh, vice chair of PyCon APAC 2023 uh, since uh, last year, uh, last year's PyCon JP. Yeah, so I'm from Japan, and uh, it's uh, my first uh, trip for the Taipei and PyCon Taiwan. Yeah, so thank you. And my hobbies are listening to music. Uh, cameras, uh, audios, and drinking, eating. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mentioned uh, many times to pay 621 for the. In this, uh, I will play explain for this. Okay. This is the new standard. Uh, Python packaging metadata. Uh, so I will explain it. Uh, there are three points to the Python dependencies or uh, Python projects. Uh, first one is first two lines. Yeah, uh, build system table for the build backend uh, for the project. The second. Yeah, is project dot uh, option uh, dependencies to the yeah list dependencies here yeah like uh, requirements dot tickets uh, and last uh, yeah project dot optional dependencies to the list uh, develop only dependencies here. Okay, then. Uh, let's uh, start the main section of my talk. Yeah, I will introduce the pros and cons for each two. Okay, the first one is PPM. Yeah, it was very popular around yeah 2018 uh, maybe. Also, it's the pretty seems uh, claim claim down. Uh, it is still uh, maintained it. So who doesn't know this? Uh, it was the game changer. So the anybody knows this? Yeah, I think. So it has very progressive. So the for rock file supports and for easy or upgrade packages, you can use the ppm upgrade commands to dependencies easily, yeah, and wrapping batch names are so also evolutionary. So you can you for, you can forget and uh, activate or deactivate at batch names. Yeah. Well, uh, two negative points: the slow dependency resolver, so and limited support for the pep six hundred twenty one star pipe project tomer. For so because of the it's the uh, old so uh, before the accepted the this pep so so no problem. The next is poetry. Okay, the I remember the uh, becoming popular in 2020, but. I think it is still popular too. 
Yeah. So how many you you used uh, for work or uh, other projects? Please raise your hands. Poetry. Or some a uh, half or more. Okay. Yeah, poetry has the many features, so to, I can't explain all of them, but uh, I will explain uh, the, some major features. So, yeah, main, main one is the dependency management with rock file and wraps pattern. Yeah, this, two, this one, this two is, yeah, uh, also same to the PPM, but uh, Poetry provided us to the task runner with Poetry run, and the helper for building quiz and publish packages. So, but uh, the Poetry, yeah, one negative point comes uh, for Poetry, not supported, uh, yeah, this time, <laughs> package metadata format. So it is also uh, before the accepted pip appear poetry. So, so sure to the not, not support, but still uh, discussion is going. Okay. Yeah, the uh, third one is PDM. The I did not, this uh, PDM still, uh, until I wrote the, uh, this talk proposal. So, do you know PDM? If you know, raise a hand. Or oh, only one? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't know this tool, yeah, before I wrote the, this proposal. So, Poetry has fast dependency resolver, and but note that please, uh, please note that uh, it's optional. Uh, you can choose other resolver, yeah, such as setup tools. So it is very configurable. So it is very benefit uh, and also support. Uh, Pep 621 style public tomer. So it, it appears uh, after accepted uh, this pep. So it uh, makes us do the more portability for the other tools. Yeah, and include task runner, PDM run. And one cons, uh, one con is, is not included helper for the building coins. Yeah, Poetry provided this feature, but PDM not provided. Okay, fourth is pip tools. Yeah, maybe uh, this is all these tools, uh, not ex excluding uh, pip, just pip. Yeah, third party tools or in yeah, all these tools. So, anyone did know this? Do you know this? Uh huh. Yeah, few people. <laughs> yeah, please note that uh, following to uh, pip tools, hatch uh, and pip. Yeah, following next, uh, not uh, it are uh, not. Or included, uh, or we want to, not all we want to, but only, yeah, that uh, uh, limited func limited uh, future features. So, yeah, let's introduce. Okay, it's very simple to use. Uh, only two commands, yeah, pip sync and pip compile, and uh, it's all the two. But <laughs> supports uh, PEP 621 style new, yeah, new standard for the pipe project tomorrow. Yeah, so compatible for PIP 
or hatch or set up this. Yeah. So, and then uh, one more thing is maintained by the jazz band community. So, yeah, they develop uh, they they develop uh, many Django utilities. So the maintained the community is the important thing. Yeah, but the other is to say. Uh, it's provided only two commands, so not included task runner, query builder, and package publisher. So it is very simple to simple to so no problem I think no problem. So yeah. Fifth is hatch. The last uh, I will introduce the yeah, excluding pip. Okay. It was published uh, very recently, and maybe someone interested to the, this. Okay, it is very configurable uh, for the backend build backend. Uh, you can use the build build uh, backend for such as pipe uh, setup tools. Yeah. Also use the PDM or pip sync, at uh, pip tools, yeah, and maintained by actively by PyPA, yeah. I think it is nearly official, yeah, and works with Py project Tom spec, yeah, of course. Pip uh, six hundred twenty one style, yeah, yeah. But two maybe two negative point, uh, not included. Dependency updater and not support lock file. Just uh, package uh, package ma manage package myself or the not included uh, third party package dependencies. So okay, the the last is the pip just pip. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, it is the built-in, uh, no installation. Yeah, so I don't know any, any Pythonista who haven't used this. Yeah, everyone used this. Yeah, so built-in Python, very simple, simple to use, uh, and because of uh, official. Yeah, uh, so of course works with PyPyrex Tomer, uh, Pep six hundred twenty one style. So, um, but uh, it's uh, official. But uh, negative points, uh, some of negative points, uh, without but virtual wrapper, uh, file managers dependency supporting not not supported. Uh, and not included uh, task runner and uh, hoi builder. Okay. Okay. Now, finally, uh, uh, what you, you've been uh, waiting for uh, this section, uh, I will introduce the best tool. What is the best tool in some use cases? Okay. The one, three of one use case, uh, library developing. Yeah, I recommend Hatch to the, yeah. So because uh, you, you uh, understand uh, to the, you understand the Python packaging uh, specification, are uh, yeah, Hatch the do document for the, this uh, so it is no problem to complex, so and you can uh, choose backend and uh, maintain it actively by PyPA. So it is uh, the best uh, I think. Okay. Second is the application developer. Yeah, I I will recommend PDM. Uh, it is all in one tool. Yeah, everything almost included and too easy to use. 
yeah, it has the fast dependency resolver and the optional uh, supports uh, PEP 621 style. Yeah, and task runner included uh, to the run test or frequent runs. And yeah, was because of uh, some, some of the others, sure. And the last case is the scripting. Yeah, PIP, uh, uh, yeah, I recommend to you this to the PIP, just PIP. Yeah, it is very simple, yeah, non dependency to use. Built in Python, yeah. It is very lightweight, no, no dependency to install PIP. Yeah. I think it is no problem uh, to the switch to PDM or poetry uh, when the project is too complex, uh, the switching. Yeah. So starting, free starting, uh, just use PIP. Okay. The appendix is the right. Yeah. Appears and in the half, this half year, maybe uh, six months or more. So I can't, and uh, 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 yeah, I must uh, explain this. It <laughs> so this is the uh, in my opinions, uh, so pros and cons. Yeah, it is written in Rust, so it provides uh, easy to use uh, single binary. And yeah, supports the PEP 621 pipeline styles, um, batch arm wrapper, package publisher, and package builder. Yeah, and uh, also included uh, Python version manager, yeah, like PyEnv. You can manage easily to Python version themselves. Yeah. Yeah, but sure, uh, one negative point is that it is experimental, yeah, not stable. So it is too early, maybe, yeah, to use production you, you use, yeah, especially to work with coworkers or some of large projects. Okay. Yeah, this, this is the references URLs. Yeah. You can see it later, okay? Okay, see you the PyCon APAC, the 2023. So I'm the, uh, I, I look forward to the, in the UC, in the Tokyo. So see you next month, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Peacock. And now it's QA time. We have QA time to about five minutes. So, and the first one question is, what is your most favorite packaging tool to use? <laughs> Uber. <laughs> uh, this is very difficult. Oh, uh -huh. ah, okay. Uh, yeah. When, um, when, when I was starting running Python, uh, I used the PPM, but the, um, uh, I, I often use, uh, okay, I, I often use the just pip for the working uh, to the, it is very simple and non-dependency. Yeah, I don't want to the third-party package manager. So, okay? Okay? Okay. And Whoa. Oh, <laughs> so many. <laughs> the question is popping out. Um, okay. The top one? 
I choose one question. Okay. Is there a package manager you really recommend uh -huh. which doesn't break my PyTorch review? Or oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Or oh, it is very difficult. Uh, so because uh, I don't, uh, I I'm not a uh, machine learning developer. <laughs> so I have only experience uh, to the web or uh, scripting developer. So. I can't <laughs> answer this question, sorry. Okay, no problem. What is the larger problem of the fact that Poetry doesn't stop the stand uh -huh. standard Py project terminal format? Why? What's the largest problem? Or the Poetry doesn't support yeah. the standard Py project. Okay. Uh, I think. Uh, the pipe project terminal is the maybe a uh, new standard the yeah st standardized and uh, when uh, if you use the pipe project terminal format the uh, you can you uh, you can switch easily to other tools yeah you, if you use PDM. But uh, you use uh, PyProject normal, yeah. You can switch to pip or somewhere, some something to yes, yeah. Okay. Okay. And now, um, because the time time delay, we have the last question, and uh, okay. we want to for live live attendees so. You can raise your hand up and question and ask his ask the speaker a question. Okay. Does any does anyone want? Anyone? If okay, here. You can use the you can use the microphone on your seat. Oh. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh I want to ask uh is requirements that T T T S T that uh -huh. uh, because I always use that I I never use pi project. Uh huh. You ask. He has a yeah. uh, requirement requirement that TikTok yeah. is that is that in Python Python developer. Uh huh. Requirement uh, requirement that TikTok yeah is that yeah not that <laughs> not that yeah uh, it's not that not that uh. But the I don't recommend uh, requirements take it with versions. Uh, you you may you want to with versions uh, requirements take it. Uh, you uh, I recommend use the, the with pip install constraint options. Uh, I I wrote the, about this uh, about this. Uh, to the Japanese article, <laughs> but uh, no English. Sorry. Okay. Okay. And now it's the end of this session. Please, please if you have more questions, you can ask on Slido or your, our Discord channel. We can we can we can discuss on Discord. So, and if you want to talk, you can discuss with our speaker. We can go. We can go to the. Go out the door, and we have a discuss uh, discussing area of after the door, outside the door. Okay, and now, okay, thank you, thank you, Peacock. Thank you. Okay, 谢谢各感谢各位。<laughs>